much calmer pace. And they're back here at the, at the downtown arena with some great promotions, which I know you love uh, more than anything, I think, uh, on the 25th, right? <laughs> yeah, the 25th, certainly looking forward to. I know uh, both of us are, are big pet yes. people. So, yeah. uh, you know, when you're talking about Paws and Pucks Night, it's an awesome night. Mm -hmm. Everybody can come down and watch the game with their pup. You know, one per person, bring them in. You could sit there and watch, enjoy the game with your uh, favorite companion. So it's a great time, uh, benefit of the uh, Toledo Area Humane Society. So all proceeds from the dog tickets that are purchased will go to the Toledo Area Humane Society. That's a great promotion oh, coming yeah. up on Sunday. Yeah, because Toledo doesn't play again until Saturday. And and this is where the schedule kind of, after all of this, the seven and tens, yep. the four and five just seems like every week it's been a three or three mm -hmm. or a four and five. Now it's, now it's where it, actually this kind of works out for Toledo because, yes, you only have six games remaining on the schedule. They're spread out over three weeks. Two this weekend, two the following weekend, two the weekend after that. So now you can kind of you can get a lot of rest, which mm -hmm. is good, yep. and you're still playing just enough uh, for Toledo to keep, the, keep everything rolling as they go. Plenty of times for, for guys to, like, to drive in from Alaska if they need them. If they need yeah. to, we could have them drive from Alaska right. if we want. Exactly. Right. Uh, uh, does this mean, uh, is it Booter? Booter's going to yep. be back with yep. you? Yep. Uh, yeah, my dog, Booter, the little Jack Russell mix. He's uh, he always fired up. For <laughs> he's made an appearance. What over? Uh, uh, how many years has <sighs> he been doing this? Uh, I think, let's see, his first one was probably about four years ago with the Mud Hen. So. Yeah. Yeah, and and if folks don't remember our pregame show last summer mm, at I the Mud Hens where yeah. he started barking like crazy, oh, yeah. he never barks, does not bark, <laughs> unless he is literally ready to come back in from the outside <laughs> yes. and he wants you to know, he's got to build up to it. Yeah. And here he is just barking away at a pregame show. <laughs> you're, you're laughing about it. Try to, I'm, he's sitting right on the desk here just laughing, barking, yeah. and people are having a good time with it up there uh, for the Mud Hens. So, We'll see how he does this week. Kids and pets, Matt. Kids and pets. Those are the hardest to, to, to work with. Yes. Uh, okay, so a huge week of hockey coming up, a huge uh, month or so of hockey coming up. But you did mention baseball real quick. When's that going to happen? Because I know it's coming up right around the corner. Well, the Monahans open on the road this year down in Louisville. They'll take on Indy. Then they'll be home uh, to get things underway on the 12th of April. Looking forward to the home opener for the Monahans. Of course, Major League Baseball. Oh, only about what? Week or so, yeah, 